What's shaking, everybody? Welcome back to the Worm Master channel. I'm your host, Josh, and today I'm on a mission. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, me. Me has conducted a study and concluded that 99.9% .9 of people that watch this channel are not subscribed. And me has come up with a product that's going to revolutionize this phenomenon. If you scroll down just a little bit, you can find a big red button that says subscribe. And if you click that button, for absolutely free, we can get the statistic down to 0%. Did I forget to mention, this is absolutely free. I'm here to prove myself, ladies and gentlemen, but first a little context. If you didn't know, Bed Wars is a Minecraft mini game on the Hypixel network. And how Bed Wars works is each player or team of players spawns on their own island, which is centered around a bed here. Bed Wars is set up so that if you die, it's no big deal as long as your bed remains intact. However, if another player breaks your bed or your bed is otherwise destroyed by a, a Function of the game. You will no longer respawn if you die. Basically, last player standing wins. We're gonna go like this, hopefully dodge some. Okay, he's chasing, that's good. So we're gonna break his bed, and as you can see, now he's in trouble because he won't respawn. Sounds like a fun game mode, right? You know, something chill to play on the weekends with the boys. You know, nothing people would spend like years of their life, you know, tens of thousands, well, maybe not tens of thousands, but probably thousands and thousands of hours. Your gut reaction would be, uh, no one would be that stupid as to throw their life away playing one Minecraft mini game mode, uh, and you'd be wrong. I'm not the worst example of this. I have 548 stars under my belt, which it's a lot of bed wars. It's not the most, but it, it's, it's an embarrassing amount, depending on the angle you're coming from. And with that much experience in Bed Wars, you'd assume I'd know what I was doing. And I do know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll credit myself that. I do know how a Bed Wars game is won. But there is a lot that can go wrong. There's a lot of variation in all the games, what keeps the game interesting. I'm not always the one that comes out on top. Some days it's worse than others. And I had one of those days where it was, uh, it was going quite bad recently. I was having a bit of a bad session playing some Bed Wars. And it really made me think. I remember watching this content creator, Purpled, who doesn't do so much Bed Wars content anymore. Back in the day, he was a real big name. He did a series on YouTube called Bed Wars Until I Lose, and he was so good at solo Bed Wars that he could make a whole video, and the whole theme was him, like, playing Bed Wars until he lost a game. He was so good, in fact, that he actually had to cut himself off every episode after he won 10 games, because he didn't want the recordings to be, like, 14 hours long or whatever, because nobody wants to watch that. I am nobody in that case. I, I would have wanted to watch that, but alas. It really got me thinking, this bad session that I had recently, like, why... Why? <laughs> Basically why? I started thinking like, what I have, like what could I do that could match that, that level of gravity when it came to like, oh god. So we're gonna send him up. Okay, no, I was I was talking, I wasn't paying attention, unlucky. As I was saying, the thought had crossed my mind to do a copycat series. I thought that'd be pretty cringe though. I also don't think like, the videos would be very long. <laughs> the other idea that crossed my mind was doing a Bed Wars Until I Win series, but that seems pretty cringe. Like, just going out and saying, Yo guys, I'm so bad at the game that I'm gonna make a video about, like, Bed Wars Until I Win a Game, you know? And so, but that's, I, I'm not gonna do a series on it. I'm just gonna do that for one video. That's gonna be today, just to prove to myself that I, I can win a Bed Wars game. And, you know, there's, it's, it's kind of an ultimatum with myself, more than a self-help scenario. There's three outcomes that happen here, okay? One, I win this game and I prove to myself and potentially, you know, any viewership that's engaged right now that I still got it. You know, all I need is the right circumstances. I just need to, to get my head right and I can win a Bed Wars game. No problem. Another thing that could happen, which I'm, I'm quite concerned might happen, although not super concerned because I'm feeling pretty good right now. I go on a hot losing streak. This, this could get ugly. I didn't even get that gap off. That's really sad. I might lose my bed now. Unlucky. Not unlucky. Unskillful. He's going up. All right, so this guy's a little bit of a sweat. That's okay. Basically, the idea of this video is bed wars until I win. If I win, the video ends. If I don't win, the, the video goes on. And that's that's what we're going to do. One time deal. If I get like an uproar in the comments, like, you have to keep this series going. It's the best thing I've ever seen on YouTube. Then I, I will listen. I know, man, to keep from the people what they desire, obviously. But at the same time, it's not an idea that I'm in love with. I don't see this idea having any longevity on YouTube necessarily. And again, I, I don't want to be that cringe champ that's like, I'm so bad to game that you play it too. I don't know. I just, I don't want, I don't want that to be me. I'm going to make him come over here. No, he's going to do that. What's with the iron swords, bud? And what's with, what's with getting triple hits on me? Or you, me getting triple hits? I can't talk when I PvP. It's so funny. Okay, so we got the low ground there. Perfect. You'll notice I... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't try and say anything during that fight just because I knew I'd <laughs> gibberish would come out. Whenever I PvP and talk at the same time, they both make the other like so much worse. <laughs> it's a, it's a skill I need to iron out as a Minecraft content creator, definitely. 
That was so clutch. That was like one block away from, from being a total disaster. But we pulled it out, ladies and gents. And now we're in a pretty good spot to get his bed if I play this right. Get back. Wait for him to rear his ugly head. Get back. Now we go in for the kill. Go. 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 No. No. Don't throw. Oh my god, that was close. I'm honestly very surprised that I was able to pull out that play. That's not like me to pull out a play like that in a situation as dire. I mean, it's not dire, but I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not known for being a very level-headed player, but I did keep my cool in that situation, which is good. Get out of my inventory. Oh my god. I always do that. I always freaking do that, dude. So juxtaposed with with uh, one end of the spectrum of my playing, you know, the, the clutch play to get yellow bed is the other end. When I go to press my R button, which is what is bound to the ninth slot of my hot bar, which is where you where usually, oh my god, which is usually where I keep my knockback sticks. Whenever I go to press that in high pressure situations, such as blocking into a bed defense, I often trip the E key as well, which opens up my inventory and then I just start spazzing. I mean, <laughs> it's all downhill from there <laughs> after my inventory opens up. It is not a good time. So this guy is pulling out the skib strategies to get his bed defense down. Have you ever seen such intense Bed Wars plays by, by a Bed Wars player? I'm dead. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Opening my inventory has, has plagued me in the past, but regardless, we're on game two here. And we're looking to find a fat dub, as they say. Yep. Yep. I'm like that. So is he. That's okay. He's going to take a lot of fall though. Yep. And he's dead. Perfect. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Nice face planted. We got a blue incoming. Man wants to fight. Man wants to tussle. Man wants to go. Let's see what you got. Oh no. Is someone coming from over here? <laughs> this is wild. I can see him, but he can't see me. Oh, yellow is rushing him. Yellow's in the bed though. So I'm going to go and clean this. Just give him some, some breathing room. I don't want to spook yellow. Yeah, sorry about that. I know it's cringe. I know it is, but I, I'm out here to win. Picked up eight diamonds as well. I'm not buying Obby because that's not a real Bed Wars win. If you if you win because you had Obsidian, you didn't actually win Bed Wars. That's my hot take. Honestly, same thing with Invis Pots. If you win a game because you, you popped an Invis and the other guy either didn't know or knew and just couldn't do anything about it, I don't know. Go brag to your girlfriend or something. That's what I tell kids every time they, they win a game by invising in Bed Wars. I'm like, tell your girlfriend, I'm so proud. They usually don't have uh, too much to say after that. <laughs> Maybe I'm going a little too hard. You know, it is just Minecraft, but also it's it's just Minecraft. You know, why are you trying to win with like invis and shit? That's why I don't use it. So I gotta be careful here. This is actually super hella risky. And now I'm low. This is, this is probably not the play. And I think I'm gonna run. I can't though. So this is not good. You gotta stay back. Bye. Yes, clutch. Okay, we're good. Got mining fatigue. I should be able to fireball jump up to escape. Oh, oh nope. Get off, get off, get off. Get off, get off. Fuck, I'm dead. No! Okay, on the DL, <laughs> and I know I said like the complete opposite of this at the beginning of the video, but I'm kind of digging this, this format for a video. It takes a lot of the pressure off. A big problem I was having uh, a little bit earlier in the summer was having a lot of outtakes of games. And it's not even like cutting out the games you lose, like to try and appear good at the game. It's just like nobody wants to watch you lose Bed Wars over and over and over again. It's just not something that's interesting. Like nobody wants to see that. Literally nobody wants to see that. This guy's trying to play me. I'm not like that though. I'm not like, I'm not like stupid and shit. Just come fight. Just come fight. You're so self-conscious. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> What's he doing? A little goofy boy. He was trying to meme on me. Nah, nah, you're dead. You're dead. You're so dead like that. Lowest of keys. I, I might turn this into a series. Maybe. I don't know. I probably won't title it. I won't be like, Welcome guys back to episode 74. This is this is week three of bed, solo bed wars until I win. But you may or may not catch me throwing in a like, today we're just playing a game until we win. We're not trying to try too hard and that's all. This guy has a bed, so I don't know why he's being so cautious with it. Okay, that was awesome. Oh my, he's, he's actually nuts at the game. I can't touch him. I, I actually can't touch him. I so thought I was dead there. I really got to get my stuff together if I want to beat yellow in a PvP encounter. But as we have seen, it's not out of the question for me to get my stuff together on a whim when I need to. Yellow's nowhere to be seen. That usually means he's going to rear his ugly head at just the right time to fireball me off into the void. But luckily, we're going to come away with a free bed this time. And that's just, that's solo bed wars. You leave your base, you lose your bed. That's the game. And I love it. I've come to really appreciate solo bed wars. Some people think it's boring. Like, you only get one final kill. Why would you ever play solo bed wars? Honestly, the solitude can be a bit refreshing, especially for a content creator. Oh, wow. He's, he's crazy at the game. I'm a little bit crazier though. 
crazier geared that is. Something I'm noticing as an extrovert is that in the summer, after you graduate high school, that is, sometimes your friends will not spend summers in your hometown. And so you'll kind of be wondering like what to do with your life. Uh, kind of like this gray guy over here who doesn't really know what to do. I think he knows I'm here and he knows yellow's at pink. Um, oh, did yellow leave pink? I don't really know. But that's kind of what I'm going through. A lot of my friends have dipped for the summer. One's doing an internship. He plays a lot of Minecraft with me. Another's like fishing in Tennessee or something. Oh, fireballs. Nope, 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 nope. But solo bed wars and like creating content around it is a nice way for me to feel like connected to people while doing an activity that is enjoyable with only one person in company. I have 10 diamonds. I'm gonna go ahead and I, I won the game. Oh, he's invisible. Okay, so that explains that. But he's still on. Did he miss his jump up here? It's a hard one. He must have. Bonk. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> So this has been episode one of Solo Bed Wars until I win. <laughs> I was looking forward to like sweating on that guy and like actually having to try and like really earning my victory, but no.